In this video, I wanted to very quickly go over how the printed circuit board guitar pickup was made, uh, the results of it, and what my plans are for the future. To etch my guitar pickup, I printed the design out on some high gloss paper, transferred it with my laminator, and etched it in ferric chloride. And then I just cleaned off the board and soldered on some cables. My circuit all etched and prepped. I took apart a guitar pickup to get these magnets out so I could place them over each one of the coils. But after taking it apart, I found out that these aren't actually magnets. It turns out there's just two large magnets on the back which magnetize these pieces of metal. So now my plan is going to be to just take this magnet off and place it over the coils on both sides. So here I have the pickup mounted to the guitar. So this pickup would be the E string, this pickup there would be the A string. and So this ribbon cable here is just going off of each pickup and I have it plugged in to the amp to boost the signal because the sound isn't that strong right now. The pickup doesn't sound the greatest, but for proof of concept it works pretty well. It's the G string right now that I have it plugged into in the guitar. Um, and right now I have it plugged into a garage band and this measures the level or the output that's coming from the guitar. So when I plug the G string, the one the guitar is plugged into, you see a response right there. Uh, the reason why I'm using garage band is because I have an acoustic guitar. If I plug a string, you can definitely hear it. So with GarageBand, I can record the sound and isolate it just to prove that indeed the pickup is working. So again, if I plug the G string, you see that response. Now if I plug the D string, the string next to it, you see the response isn't as big. And then if I also plug the string below it, still get a response but it's not as high as the uh, as the G string which is good because the pickup is designed just to detect one string so hopefully uh, through more iterations of this the pickup's going to be a little bit better and it's going to be able to distinguish individual frets being played. This is something I recorded earlier it's kind of hard to record and play at the same time And then I'll even record something right now just to kind of show that it is picking it up. So let me just go back and play this. My future plans, I've already drawn up, this isn't it, a, a new guitar pickup. Um, the next one has a lot more coils than this previous version. Uh, the trace widths are like 10 mils apart, and then the space between traces are also 10 mils apart, so that allowed me to pack in a lot more. I'm also getting it, I've also sent it out to a board vendor um, to get professionally made, so I won't have to etch it at home or worry about tolerances or any issues like that. So my through holes will be a lot cleaner, I'll be able to uh, mount my magnets directly onto the board, it won't be off to the side like it is now. So it'll just look polished and a little bit more like the final product when it happens. What I want to do with that is I want to be able to uh, have the pickup sense which individual notes are being played and then have that output into MIDI. Um, so I'm going to start working on that once hopefully this, new, this next round of pickups is good. And then I hope that all pans out. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on next. I'll post another video or maybe another blog post updating you with how that is and then since you get more than more than just one circuit board after you order it if it works out I just might end up uh, putting it up on my website and having the first you know however many extra I get people who email me I'll just send them one for free and then they can start messing with it as well so uh, just keep posted for that and keep looking back and see when I update it with that but yeah Thanks for watching.